All right, welcome to the Hefty Hoofers channel. Um, today I'm gonna to be doing a product review on the Water Buffalo Hydration Hiking Backpack. I didn't see any other YouTube videos on this backpack, but for some reason, it is one of the top selling backpacks on uh, under hydration packs on Amazon. So I thought I'd just do a quick rundown of uh, what I'm gonna use it for, and uh, I couldn't find any videos showing really what the storage capacity is and stuff like that, so I thought I'd show you guys that quick. I'm actually gonna try it out today, go on one of my favorite hikes, just a quick half hour, half mile hike. Um, so we'll get right to it. Here is the backpack, the water buffalo, um, in the white. That's the only option I had available to me. Um, Amazon at least. Um, what I have inside, I will be carrying the GoPro on the front strap. We'll get clipped on with the GoPro clamp here. We'll clip that on the front and then uh, I won't have to wear like a chest rig or anything like that which is why I actually bought the backpack. And I have a habit of not bringing enough water with me and this has a two liter water bladder in it. Um, I don't like drawstring backpacks. They tend to hurt and rub my neck weird, so I thought I'd try out something with like good straps and uh, try that out. But we'll go ahead and change the camera angle here and get more of the table view so I can show you what I have packed inside here. All right, I really like the styling. It is really nice, small, and sleek. Um, got this little band here. You can uh, strap something there, maybe a towel or whatever floats your boat but what I plan on using for it because I do some GoPro footage and um, just some hiking footage normally just kind of track my exercise and stuff like that if you want to see more of the exercise that I've been doing and the 30-day challenge I'm currently on go to my channel I'm doing a 30-day challenge trying to lose 30 pounds but uh, so inside you have one main compartment so on the zipper I track attack uh, attach my uh, AirPods, AirPod Bros. Take those off, get that out of the way. And inside this main compartment is your water bladder and that's all that goes in there. Um, and that feeds through the side here, out, and gets hooked to the, uh, the backpack strap just there. But um, inside the water bladder hangs on these little tassels. So that will help support the weight instead of it just being a bag of water in the in the bag itself, you know, kind of just being pushed to the bottom by the weight of the water. It'll actually support itself via these little tassel doohickey things. So that's all that's in there. I'll fill up the water in a little bit. But then in the only other compartment, it just has this little Velcro right here that you just pop open. And inside I have just a few mounting accessories. So I have a little goose neck for my GoPro. I carry a little Benchmade 940 because you never know when you need a knife. And then I have in this little plastic bag an iPhone 5S which I use for video recording. It takes 1080 footage still which uh, you know for basically a camera you can't go wrong with uh, just something simple, something cheap that you can replace easily. So just a little iPhone 5S, a couple of spare SD cards, and then on this side, <clears throat> or wrapped up in there, I have just a, a separate GoPro battery. Um, so a second GoPro battery in there as well. And then that's all, yep, that's all I have in the main compartment. So we'll go ahead and take this out on the trail. We'll see if it's comfortable. Um, has this little twist, twisting bite valve. So right now it's open, you twist it. Okay, right, that's closed. You twist it, and that's open. It doesn't do a lot. It feels like there should be more travel there, but uh, I haven't tried this out too much yet. Or, oh, I haven't tried this out at all. But we're gonna go ahead and fill it up now. To put the uh water bladder back in. I like to hold it up so you can kind of just kind of get your hand under it, slide it into the pouch. There's like a, there's a little separator in here so you want to get underneath that separator. And 
then take her down in there. So you get underneath. There's a little separator in there. I'll get a better angle here. A little more light would help. So you can see this little separator right here. That's what I'm touching. Um, that's You get it underneath that, and then you lock it into these tassels right here. And that will hold it in place really well. I'd close that up. I don't like to store anything inside there. Um, I don't want to poke a hole in the bladder and there's just not that much space in there. So the only really extra storage you have is on the outer pouch. And then it hooks into this little clip here. Um, put it to this little strap and then you clip it right there and that's your little bite valve so we'll go ahead and get this loaded back up with my camera supplies and go try her out I'm at the top of Brady's Bluff out here in Trempolo. Um, I just basically did this hike. It is 90, I think it's 88 or 90 degrees right now. And it says uh, it feels like 96. And uh, I did have to test out this new water hydration bag. And um, I carried it all the way up here. It's been uh, over a mile hike, which if you are a hiker, you know, a mile up a hill is quite a long ways but um, I can't complain anything about the bag I think it sells for about 25 to 30 bucks on Amazon and uh, it, it uh, it's pretty comfortable if it's even a bigger guy like me but it can you know obviously be adjusted to a much smaller size and uh, yeah I nothing to complain about as far as the bag goes you kind of forget that it's there and uh, that's that's what kind of is really the important part of it. So thanks for watching my bag review. Um, I'd highly recommend it, especially for uh, just day hiking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm.